Namaste. My name is Ruhe Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak about new goal setting technique. Uh, this time they make much more sense for me. No? The first step in the right direction is a half way. This means also if we make our first step in a tiny different direction, we never reach our goal. Failing to plan is plain to fail. Then the evidence-based goal-setting strategies. Moderate and meaningful. Focus, narrowing. Concrete, specifics. Dynamic, self-regulation. Foreshadow, value. Realistic, scheduling, buffers. Think about these six steps. Instead, only to focus on the goal and enjoy the journey. So you have to enjoy the things. Otherwise, you don't get the power. First, we have to accept ourselves as we are in the present moment. And then update our goals as we reach the smaller goals. So this means that yin yang strives for change acceptance. If we go forward, then we're getting more abilities. And so every step is getting easier. Don't set goals that are too easy or too difficult. Not to set too many goals, maximum three goals. And this you see in mostly of all workshops done. And I said in this workshop, this is not working. Three goals is a maximum. And here they have found it out. What they made for goal setting in the last 10 years mainly was not working for mostly most people. So third, be clear, concrete action steps to reach that goal with the implantation. What means it to you to reach your goal? How does it look? If you don't have a why, if you don't know what it will look, nothing will happen. And co without concrete action, for sure not. Then assessing and reviewing your progress once a week and once a month for low priority goals. Assess progress. Adjust what doesn't work, adapt to reality and lifestyle and be kind to yourself. Most of our times, uh, we don't know the reality when we doing new things. For instance, when I was designing uh, um, new uh, um, computer stuff or interfaces or regardless of what, so the, the, the ships, I call it, uh, um, or the microprocessor uh, um, saying we can do this and this and this and this in the sheet, but this is not interesting for me. The reality is interesting for me. And this is a worst case scenario. And if I see the normal data sheets from the um, devices, from the ships, from the microprocessors, regardless of what, I don't care. I don't care. I care only for the worst case scenario. And if there is no worst case scenario, I don't buy that uh, device when I uh, can uh, uh, design something new. And this is a reality. And even the worst case uh, um, scenario is most of the case not true. Okay. If I can't accomplish a goal, then ask why. Even if it is meaningful for you, ask a third person. We need a feedback. And we don't know what we are making. We are blind. 
somehow we don't see our own mistakes. And the third person says, hey, did you have that wrong? <laughs> this is wrong. And you're shocked and you don't beat your arms because it's normal that we are wrong. An aircraft who is flying uh, um, to, the, um, uh, to the next airport is to 99% wrong. <laughs> From the navigation here. Who cares? At the end, it will reach <laughs> the arrival uh, um, air, uh, airport. And so it is with our lives. The same is for our boat. Who cares? How did the thing work out instead to criticize you? Some things are working very easily, some other things working very difficult, and if you go to a new territorium, you're most of the case wrong with your time table. Avoid over-visualizing success. This is the meaning for it. They visualize like crazy and you have to touch it, blah, blah, blah. And I made all the time the wrong thing. I, I made it, how will it feel if I fail, if I didn't do the work to realize that goal? And this will motivate you much more. So we visualize negatively how it would feel if we fail. And the other we give us do dopamine hits, and so we are not motivated anymore if we visualize we have the success. Six, don't overwhelm yourself. Be realistic about your goal setting. Not what is uh, what we uh, totally like to get. Okay, I like to go get, become a, a billionaire in, in three days. It will never will work out. Okay, maybe in the currency of beaten up. Okay. Intentional goal setting framework. Here is uh, um, the thing: the why. What is your motivation? What can you unlock? What will you discover? And now comes the negative visualization. This is more important, I think. What if I don't work towards this goal? What if I don't achieve it? What could hinder me from achieving my goal? If you are well prepared, and have done this, <laughs> then you know much more than from your positive visualization. And as an engineer, and you, are, you work all the time for the worst case. And the normal case, who cares for it? <laughs> we want the success, we want that we reach our goals. So we're looking for the worst case scenarios. And then we are well prepared and can relax. We differentiate between input goals and output goals. And that is so crucial. Over output goals, we don't have control. And the input goals is just what we can do. We, we exercise our stuff and, and we make it, it nice. But if we depend from output scenery from the uh, help of friends, of, 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 from other firms, and so on. Over this, we don't have any control. We, we can uh, um, invest in the best uh, stocks, okay, and then the market is going down. We don't have control over it. We have control over it to pick up the best stocks, yes. But over the output goals, we never have any control. So if we are students, then we have mainly input goals. We are well prepared for the examination. And if you don't do the right uh, and preparation, you don't get this. But it is all examination are input goals. 
okay? And the other things mostly are a mixture from input and output goals. Not everybody is successful. From 10 people, one may reach the goal, and the other nine don't have the luck and even do much more work. They don't reach it. And then they beat themselves up. No. And this uh, is a sex for people don't like to see. That the other have done even more work, but didn't have the success because didn't have had the fortune to attract the right things. Or to ha have done the wrong things to the uh, uh, um, wrong time and so on. Thank you that I could speak about this and bye.